Checkpoint. First step, power step, lunge step, level change, knee over toe, alignment with the kickstand. Fishtail, short step, and drive. things to learn in freestyle and folk style wrestling, the penetration step. This is going to be specifically for the high crotch or the double up. Special thanks to Nike for helping you out with the channel. Let's see a high crotch to a double one time fast and then we'll break down the footwork. Three. Thank you. Now let's break it down. I got some dots. These are my position points for my footwork. This is going to be my starting line. If you're doing this in your garage or in your wrestling room, we usually use the tape lines to teach the new kids the penetration step. This first two dots, that's my stance. I'm in checkpoint. What is checkpoint? Checkpoint means I can touch the mat without moving my body. So right now, this is not a good stance. I'm not low enough. That's checkpoint right there. Checkpoint. We say that in our practices all the time. Checkpoint. Keeps us set in our stance. This is a bad stance. Knee pointing down, toe pointing down. Don't do this. It's a really common thing for new wrestlers to be here. Don't do it. First step. We'll go through all the steps and then we'll break down each one. Checkpoint. First step. Power step. Lunge step. Level change. Knee over toe. Alignment with the kickstand. Fishtail, short step, and drive. We're gonna start with the power step. I'm in here in stance motion. Power step happens all the time. When I power step, my foot goes back and across. It does not line up with this foot, it crosses my legs. It goes back and across, and it turns to a 45 degree angle. Right here. 45 degree angle with this line. My knee and toe are pointing outward. Another bad habit. Bad habit. Pointing down. If I had a large penetration step, I'm hitting that knee. I'm robbing myself of potential energy there. Knee and foot point out 45 from your starting line. Here. Push it. When I push, I'm pushing with a specific part of my foot. Show me! Great athlete. This is my college wrestling shoe from the Ohio State University. Ever heard of it? Right here is where my blowout happened. And every shoe I've ever had worn out, I get a blowout in this spot. It's not Nike's fault, it's my fault for working too hard. My power step, I'm pushing on the ball of my foot here and my big toe. I'm always pushing there. If you look at these brand new Nikes, they have a really good feature. There's a circle here and extra reinforced rubber. These tall ones give me a little extra boing in my power step. Power step, next step. Now this, my power step, loaded up like a spring. This is my potential energy. It's called a power step because it's what helps me explode into my attack. Power step, pushing with this leg. Lunge step. Now learning the lunge step, I only have the guys and gals stepping four to six inches forward. That's all you really need. Here, another bad habit is the stomp. So we go power step, Stop. When I do that, it's like hitting a wall. It robs me of my momentum. On my shot, power step, one step, heel, ball, toe, knee. Power step, lunge step, right there. Heel, ball, toe. Next is the level change. When you teach it as two moves, and then once I get the concept, make it one. Power step, 
lunge step. Here's the level change. Chest to quad, right here. Chest to knee. I like to imagine there's an egg right here. There's a big old chicken egg. And I'm gonna crush that egg with my chest. So if you got a wrestler shooting like this, you let them know. Hey, you're not breaking your egg. Power step, lunge step, level change. Why do I need a level change? Breathe. She gets in a good low square stance checkpoint. Her head is in my way. This is the first line of defense. If I don't have a good level change, power step, lunge step. Wait, come back. I'm not done with you. You're not going to get under their head. That's why it's a level change. So many people do a penetration step and they forget the level change. Break your egg. Power step. Lunge step. I did the lunge step and level change simultaneously. I beat her elevation in the mind. Okay, now you can go away. Power step. Lunge step. Level change. Now, that's a fake. I'm moving, I'm wrestling, power step, lunge step. Power step, lunge step. That's all you need to do fake. Don't do this when you fake. You look silly and everyone's making fun of you. Power step, lunge step, level change. Now we're going knee over toe. I'm driving up that back leg. I'm pushing, I went heel. I went ball, toe, Knee over toe, right here. I'm gonna line here. Now, I have to explode my hips in to get to alignment. Yes. Alignment, very important. Alignment is one of the most important terms we use with the prime wrestling system in practice. Alignment means my hips, my chest, and my head are tall and strong. Tall alignment, short alignment, really short alignment. I'm gonna sweep single here. I'm gonna sweep single here. Or a low level high crotch here. Not this, not alignment. Not alignment. Get to alignment. Check point. Power step. Lunge step, level change. Knee over toe. Now we're gonna bring our trail leg up. Important notes, bad habit. Dragging the toe. I've seen world class guys that win championships that drag the toe. But you're still making your shot slower than it should be. Bring your foot up like a dog taking a pee pee. And bring this up through the air with no resistance. And stop here. Now I have a kickstand. Kickstand alignment. Kickstand alignment. This is a very, very critical position to understand. If I'm on a single head position, Kickstand, alignment. Not a good shot. From the lower level, here. I'm still in alignment. I just squatted my butt down. High crotch double leg. Alignment. Alignment. Tall, locked into position. Here. Power step, lunge step, level change, knee over toe. Kickstand. Make sure this foot is not flat on the ground. If you notice, my ankle is bent, and it can roll here. Put your ankle in alignment, here. So just the insole, the inside of your sole is on the mat, here. And I'm using my heel and my toe when I initially stop. The next step is the fishtail. If you notice when I did it one time fast on brief, I ran, I cut 90 degree corner and finished my takedown that way. And now, I need to open my hip so I can move in that direction. To do that, I do a fishtail. From behind, fishtail. Foot tucks under. Fishtail. Now, if this is too extended or it doesn't have enough potential energy, this is like the most, right? Because I can explode. Mini power step here. Load this up. Fishtail. Mini power step. Fish tail, mini power step, and then I step across. Look at this foot. 
it's sideways. This foot's that way, this foot's that way. My chest stays square. Many step, when I step up, my knee comes up and the foot swings under. Many power step and under. My hips stay in alignment. I'm still locked in on my attack here. How do I finish? Penetration step, power step, lunge step, power step, lunge step. My opponent's going down. I simply go knee over toe and cover. Maybe get that Turk, a little Turk, Turk. Power step, lunge step, level change. Knee over toe, thrust the hips in, kickstand, alignment. That kickstand's 45 degrees, both toe and your point forward. I'm on my attack. I'm gonna go fishtail. Fishtail. Any power step. Drive up. Hips stay under. And across. Woo! That's a lot of information. But it's the most important information. If you don't have a good penetration step, you're not gonna have efficient or strong leg attacks. Don't make it work with bad technique. Make it easy with good technique. Let's see, one more high cross to a double. Fast. If you've been wrestling for five years and you don't have a power step or you don't have a lunge step, get in the room, put that extra work in. I learned it this way, luckily, when I started wrestling. Identify your bad habits and clean them up. You might be a college All-American, you might be a five-year-old in dad's garage. Technique is the most important part of efficient execution. Don't be a meathead and force stuff. When you have good technique, life is easier. Headbutt the like button, subscribe, share this video. Let's all get better together. Keep it too sweet. We'll see you next time on the Pride Wrestling